Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy M51 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you get started and boot up the device you'll be presented with the welcome screen right here where you just get to press the blue arrow and then select your language. So I'm gonna switch to English, there we go, and tap on next, connect to mobile network. Now this will work if you have a SIM card in here. but. I'm not planning to insert one, so I'm just gonna tap on next and skip this. Check out some info to get started. So we have obviously the uh, end user license agreement, which you do have to agree to, and rest of it is optional. Now, if you're interested in reading it, you can tap on the details and you have the basically entire agreement right over here. And then uh, additional things like sending uh, of diagnostic data, information linking and stuff like that are optional. So if you don't want it, you can completely leave it unchecked and proceed further. And then we have ability to connect to Wi-Fi. Now this step again is optional, so if you don't have Wi-Fi near you, you can skip it. And the only downside of it is uh, throughout the setup, you won't be provided with the option to log into your Google account and also restore your device from a Google backup. Uh, but rest assured, you can still do that later after the setup, just through settings. And then we go copy apps and data. This is uh, through an application. So I'm gonna skip this. I'm planning to set it up as new anyway. Then we have date and time, but it looks like it's almost correct. Maybe not, but um, but you basically tap on it and change the time by just choosing it. Nine, what is it, like 48. There we go, good enough. There we go. Um, so then tap on next once you set it up and we have Google services. So location, scanning, and send user and diagnostic data. Now you can tap on the arrow to expand it and read exactly what you're agreeing to here. But basically the gist of it is that uh, this location is just a GPS tracking that is used by things like Google Maps uh, to accurately position you on the map and give you a correct route to your destination if you're using it as a GPS navigation. Then you have scanning for, well, scanning and send user diagnostic data, basically gathers data on you and sends it to Google. Now you can disable every one of these if you don't want it and then scroll down and tap on accept at the bottom and on the next page you have the option to add a protection to our device so face recognition fingerprint pin pattern password now the first two options um, cannot be set without uh, one of the three lower ones so if you want to set either fingerprint face recognition or both you will still need pin pattern or password i'm gonna go with the pattern uh, for now so draw the pattern, continue, draw the pattern, confirm, and it's set. Then get recommended apps. So we have Samsung Internet Browser and no thanks. Uh, Samsung Members, I'm gonna disable that. Samsung Notes, although this might be useful. And Voice Recorder also might be useful. So you can just uh, well, keep the ones that you want um, and disable the ones that you don't. Tap on next. And from here you can sign into your Samsung account. Now this is completely optional and for probably a uh, majority of us uh, this might not be uh, needed or well, might not be useful. Uh, if I try to skip it you'll see that it gives us the pop-up right here so we skip on Samsung Cloud, Galaxy Teams, uh, Find My Mobile and Galaxy Store. Now comparing it to Google services, uh, Samsung Cloud, um, Google, Google Drive, uh, Galaxy themes uh, that is the only one that doesn't have an equivalent here uh, find my mobile uh, Google has a built-in anyway uh, Galaxy Store uh, Play Store so the only thing that you're really missing out on that you wouldn't be getting anything of is the Galaxy themes I'm gonna skip it anyway and then tap on finish and we're all done after a brief break there we go so there we go that's the setup of the device if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.